save some of that vinegar for the rodeo. Work and me get along fine. I'll be fit come rodeo time. You know, me and you's pretty much the same, Joshua. How's that? Oh, I come from a sharecropping family. Hard work's all I've had. Most of it without pay. Well, like you, or the government cut you free. This rodeo means everything to me, Joshua. I got a wife and two boys back home. And I've been saving every penny I earned for the past two years to bring them here. I bet every bit of it on you. I'll do my best. Ready in a minute. Joshua, we never had anyone like you around here before. I guess my kind's rare in these parts. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. We, we've had a lot of Negroes working on this ranch. It's just that, well, you know, freed men come west, finding a new start. But we never had a hand that could do it all. Where'd you learn all this about ranching? Just come naturally, I guess. Where are you from? Lots of places. <laughs> Most cowboys are. Where's your home? Place I'm at. Found a friend of yours. <laughs> I think he likes you better. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? Well, the best shooting I ever saw. All I did was pull the trigger. Snake did the rest. How's that? Well, when the rattler sees a bullet coming, he strikes out at it. Oh, well. I get it. Carry me home. 
swing low, sweet cherry. Coming for to carry me home. Mm-hmm. Sweet cherry, coming for to carry. sound of it, I'd say your father must have been a preacher. No, he was a slave, Nick. A field slave. Nick! Bert! Bert, what happened? What happened? I was... I was chasing strays. They bushwhacked me. Well, who did it? Bert, who did it? The Mortons. The Mortons, huh? Joshua, take Bert to the ranch. Charlie, go on to the town and get the doctor. What are you going to do? I got an old call on the Mortons. You're not going out there in the dark. By the time I get there, it'll be morning. Just like you said. You shot Bert. Well, he was spooking our cattle. You're a liar. You be careful who you call in a liar. Well, if that wasn't an invite to a fight, I'd... <laughs> Charlie told me. Sure you're all right? I don't need your help. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Oh, 
So help me, I'll hit you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Heath? You keep your brother away from me, or next time I'll get it worse. All right, I'm ready. How's the eye feel? Fine. Just fine. Sure you don't want a cold town? No, no. This will do nicely, thank you. Okay. What happened to him? Mashed him. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. You heard what I said? Nothing. <laughs> I'd say that's the best one I've ever seen. It don't come any better. Hey, Nick, if you don't mind a little suggestion, I think the best place for that beefsteak is on a plate with some mashed potatoes. Who did it? Mortons. Ah, the Mortons. Well, you've just been itching for a fight with them, haven't you? And you finally got it. Well, they haven't heard the last of it either. Now, ah, look, with that eye, you're not exactly ready for a beauty contest as it is, much less go back... Look, Jared, I'll worry about my eye. But they shot Bert. And they said that he was spooking their cattle and it's a lie. Where are you going? I'm going up and have a hot bath. I'll be as good as new in an hour. Here. All you need now is a mashed potato. Uh. Forget it. What? What you're thinking. Won't do any good. Well, then maybe I better have a little talk with Rufus. Try and reason with him. The reason things are the way they are is because Rufus can't be reasoned with. Bert shot. They stomped on Nick. And they've gone too far. I say we go over to their ranch and crack a few heads. Are you with us, Josh? Yep, I'm with you. Well, then come on, let's go. Where are you boys heading? To the Mortons. Nobody leaves this ranch, is that understood? You've got a right to even things up. Any man that rides out to fight the Mortons is fired, is that understood? And the Mortons? That's where I'm heading right now, to have a little talk with them. Rufus, for the last time, I came out here for only one reason. To get you to call this rodeo off. And you rode out here for nothing. Yeah, what do you want to call the rodeo off for? We hear you got a man who can win it for you all by himself. Yeah. Yeah, ain't he as good as they say he is? <laughs> Listen, J.R., why don't you go open the front door and uh, let this man and the smell out of here. I'd like to remind you, gentlemen, a man's already been shot, badly wounded. He was lucky. I told my boys to shoot to kill any one of your hands that crossed my lines. And can't you see what a tragic mistake that is? Call it off before someone is killed. My boys have been looking forward to this for a year. And I'm not going to be the one to spoil their sport. I never thought I'd live to see the day when a Barclay would ask me to back off. Rufus, I'm not asking you to back off. I'm asking you to do what makes sense. It all adds up to the same thing. Morton's backing down. If you don't back down this time, it means a fight. So be it. And we'll settle this thing between us once and for all. You're just itching for a fight, aren't you, Rufus? Well, all right. The Barclays don't back down either. So if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're gonna get. <laughs> 